Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. CLDP. It's the end of another week. It's Friday the 20th of August. We've got a couple of new mods, literally a couple. We've got a few updates which are as follows. Top left, the map Bazura by Pavelk20, the Lizard Buggy Cart and Cross by Sloyd Chess Modding, the Old Pickups Pack by Farm Centro Soul, the TCM Runner Pack by TCM, the Old Lizard Car Trailer Pack by Austri and Kashtan18, the Transport Box by Austri, the Lizard Pallet Fork also by Austri, and the Seasons Geo Ravensburg Console Factories Standard by Top Ace888 have all had updates today. So, the mods almost are the sideshow today because there's a couple of updates that I want to look at and today's about the updates. I'm being totally honest about that, but let's do the mods. We've got the buildings pack by EDEC, 6.13 megabytes download. We've got a silo, we've got a barn and we've got a shed slash shelter. Uh, seven slots, four slots and two slots. You'll find these under placeables and sheds. Well, two of them on the sheds. The barn's 15 grand slot count goes down from four to one. The shelter's five grand goes down from two to one. And then the first one, although we're looking at last, is the silo, which is 30 grand. Seven slots goes down to one. 30,000 litre capacity of your main cereal crop types, I would say. I mean, I suppose there's corn in there as well. But anyway, um, so. There's no lighting on these. Main doors open and close. This is not a drive through, so this will be a back in or whatever you're going to use to put into the silo. That side door does open, but that's more relevant on the next one because obviously, as you can see, that's where you, the contents of your silo kind of gets put. And taking it out of the silo is done from there. So the next one is exactly the same building, just without the silo bits. So we can still open that door. We can also open this one. There we go, it's opening. So you can put some stuff in there if you wish. And then we've got the shed, shelter. Or again, put in whatever you want underneath it. That's the buildings pack by EDEC. Moving on from there, we've got this. This is the Lizard Agri 13, 1.92 megabytes download, two slots on console. It's by KRKZ Modding and KZ Modding. It's a 5.5 meter plow. You'll find it under tools and plows. 31 grand, 230 horsepower required. It'll run at six miles per hour, and we can change the main color to anything on that pallet. Let's hop it. I don't see any reason why it won't work as it should. But just to double check. There we go. We're plowing to 5.5 meters. And that is it for the mods. Now, as far as the updates go, the two that I'm most interested in and really quite astounded by is, well, one is this. So the Lizard Buggy Cart and Cross by Sloitches Modding was originally the Lizard Buggy Cart. Well, this one's been put in the Cross version. Now, the Buggy Cart was 10 horsepower, I think. This is 100 horsepower. So it's got a little bit more oomph to it. The pack itself is 13.26 megabytes download. So the update was adding in this, the Cross. If we go to vehicles and cars, the buggy cart there, 2,350, but the Cross is 8,500. We can change the main color to anything on that on palette, on that color, on that palette. Rim color, anything on that palette. Design color changes the seat color, so you can mix and match or contrast or whatever you want to. Really, that's entirely up to you. Then we've got Design Original with Cage. Should you do what I'm probably going to do in just a moment. Then Light Frontal Original without any. We can have a couple of little lights on the front. So that's the addition. Let's hop in. Lights. Like I said, I didn't go with the cage on this. And I probably should have done. So this will go up to 59 miles per hour. It takes a little while to get there. Suspension's pretty good on it. I've had a bit of a whiz round. It's just a bit of fun to drive, really. I don't think I'm going to get up to the speed I need to, but... I 
like I say, just a bit of fun. Forty will we hit fifty? Don't know. If we go over more than fifty that could end up being catastrophic. Yep, that tips forward. <gasps> oh, it lands on my wheels though. That's a good thing. So <laughs> that's the uh the lizard cross from Sloot Chairs Modding. Um, the other update is gorgeous, and I mean, I'm, maybe it's just it's my cup of tea, um, but it's the Apache Fleetside 1958. Now, this is part of the old pickups pack. Now, it was the old pickup pack. Let's actually stop because at the moment I'm just rolling. Um, and what's been added in the update is is the Apache fleet side, and it's gorgeous. The pack's 39.27 megabytes download. The Apache's 15 slots on console. Now, that's with the standard, I think it was a Ford pickup that was, well, I'll say in inverted commas Ford. But that's what it kind of comes standard like. And look at it. Is that not just a thing of beauty? I just love these. Being, being English, being from the UK, I've always wanted a pickup, but I like the old style. I mean, the new ones are nice, Ford Rangers and things like that, but these older ones, beautiful looking things. And as we can see, there's a few different options available. We've got a low rider, which I think just looks even better. And then we've got a kind of more agricultural one. We can raise out agricultural tyres, wooden sides on it. They do have straps in the back, which are the ever variant you go for, and the, the uh, rear door will come down. Tailgate is the word I'm looking for. Will will come down. But is it just me, or is that is that not just is that not just gorgeous? Anyway, under undercars as well. So the pickup Apache fleet side, it's only twenty eight grand, one hundred and sixty eight horsepower. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette, and there are loads um, of some really gorgeous colours on there. I mean, that's really nice. The ice. Rim colour. Again, we can, anything on that palette, so we can mix and match, or, you know, there are some at the top, polished metal, silver metallic, black chrome, chrome. So if you want to go for a chrome rim, you can. Then design colour is what does all the sort of bumpers and stuff. So again, you can mix and match, colour coordinate. If I go for chrome on that as well, so we can chrome it all up a bit blingy. Then we've got the optional Trelleborg or lizards. Trelleborgs are your more sort of standard old pickup wheels. The lizards are your more kind of someone's taken it and done a bit of customization work on it. So on the Trelleborg, we've got standard. You've got the off roads and you've got the low rider. Lizards, just changing the hubs because the wheel option is the same, off-road or low rider. And then we can have wheel hub cap, yes or no. So you can kind of, if you colour coordinate, let's go back to design colour, and say for example we put a class, I oh know that's not on there, is it? Sorry. It's on, oh no, because it's black rims anyway, sorry, ignore me on that. Uh, so yeah, wheel hub caps, yes or no. Then attaches, yes or no. At the moment it's no, we can have a rear trailer hitch on the back if you want a rear trailer hitch. And then you've got bail loading wagon at the moment, or you can have it with support boards on the side to stop stuff falling out. The straps will keep it all in anyway, but that looks really nice as well. I mean, I would probably say if we go for trailer borgs with rims, not necessarily chrome, that's a more original look for the fleet side. No, we don't want to buy it. In the first place... So let's hop in. I'm just mesmerised by the, the low rider. Of course. Lights, main beams, puts the light in the cab as well. You can see that. Like I said, we do have straps. L1 and X, opens the tailgate. Look at that on the lights. It's so nice. Obviously, the turning circle is reduced on the low rider because you're within the wheel arches of it being lowered. Interior. 
Lovely. Lovely. I love the old analog speedo as well. Look at that. <laughs> it's an absolute cracker. Um, and then we've got the option of, I think we've got some doors and windows and what not to read. Let's have a quick look. L1, uh, right stick side to side, opens and closes your left door. And look at that as well, the design on that. It's, it's exactly how it should be. Body shaped, body panel. It's not just on looks for the outside. Then L1, uh, sorry, R1, right stick side to side. Hang on. Let's go with right stick up and down first. Right stick up and down opens and closes the bonnet. But if you look as well at the bonnet hinges, the way it all opens and closes, oh, it's, just, it's lovely. Vibration on the engine. And then R1 and right stick side to side. Let's keep that down. Right stick side to side opens and closes the other door. But yeah, um, I don't often show updates when they, when they come out and... I kind of had a look today and I saw this straight away on, on the actual picture and thought I've, I've got to have a look at that. So there we go. That's it for the mods and the updates for today and for another week. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Whatever you end up doing this weekend, have a fantastic time. Stay safe, etc. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.